today I'm at the dark site in Heathcote and I've got my telescope set up here with a few other people doing visual and astronomy. So this is part two of the imaging at NGC 1999. The last part was hydrogen and alpha and this part is LRV. So tonight I'll be taking uh, red, green and blue photos for the image and hopefully later I can add the luminance data and then I'll have a hopefully a really good picture. So, yes, so tonight is LRGB at the dark side. Beautiful clear sky, a bit windy. So tonight I'll have my CGM mail. MT160 imaging. The camera is sponsored by Sidereal Trading. So I'll see you later when it gets dark and I'll I have to color a line. Okay, see you then. I also have today my DIY 10 inch dub sodium. I made the mirror myself. So I'm excited to see what they look like. So the sun is set, it's getting dark quickly, and there's my setup, there's bills in the distance, there's also bills, and a few other setups on the visual field as well. So I'm excited to polar align and get imaging. Alright, so now I'm polar aligning the setup. So just make a bar there for you. You can see it's on its side now, polar align it, and um get back to you when it's finished. Alright, so it's now about 10 p.m., almost 10.30. I'm starting the sequence. I've, I'm in focus now on the red frames, and it's now pretty much dark. It's really bright and beautiful out tonight, so hopefully I'll be able to get some good data. It's a bit windy, which might be a bit of an issue, but I guess I'll just have to see what happens. So it is now about 2 a.m. or 2.13 and the blue frames, I finished the red frames, now I'm taking the blue frames, I'm having a bit of a, some sort of dew or halo issue, but hopefully that shouldn't be seen in the final image. Um, but yeah, so far it's going good, I will, I'll, I'll have to miss out on some of the green frames. But otherwise, uh, I don't think green matters too much, so I should be able to make a good picture. Alright, so it's now the next morning. I got all of the RG and B data that I wanted, and hopefully, I'll be able to make a good image. So, I'll process the data and see what it looks like. 